Wow, wow, unbelievable. Uh, so we're waking up to seeing uh, Luna Classic exploding right now up about 38%. Why? CZ Binance, CZ from Binance just delivered the news that the Luna Classic community needed to hear. So get this, Luna Classic will be, will be uh, implementing, excuse me, Binance will be implementing the Terra Classic burn mechanism. So instead they have decided, CZ has decided uh, to basically burn on all transaction fees. Okay, so it says, since my AMA on Friday, we've had a number of discussions about how Binance can better support the Luna Classic community's request for tax burns. The last thing I said was that we will implement an opt-in button. This was, this has since changed. Old blog for reference. Three things here. The Luna Classic community wasn't happy with this approach. Number two, it's going to take a while to develop. Number three, it's not going to work anyway. Our traders won't vote for it. Since then, we were discussing a better, quicker way to support the community. Instead, we have decided to begin burning all trading fees collected on the Luna Classic BUSD and Luna Classic Tether spot and margin trading pairs on Binance. Guys, this is massive. Fees will be converted to Luna Classic, then sent to the burn address. The burn is paid at our expense, not the users. This way, we can be fair to all users. The trading experience and liquidity remain the same and Binance can still contribute to the supply decrease of LUNC, which is what the community wants. Wow, CZ from Binance just flipped the script for Luna Classic and its holders. We're gonna talk a lot more about this. Uh, meanwhile, just think about all the exposure that Luna Classic is getting right now when CZ is posting all over his Twitter page to so many thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Uh, many people hearing about Luna Classic if they haven't heard about it already, but this is big. This is exactly what the community wanted. Uh, so basically all trading on Binance will implement the 1.2% tax burn. Now here's the big one. Now that Binance has done it, I think it's gonna be a huge domino effect. Watch how many of these smaller exchanges who haven't done it yet will also do it. Of course, Binance is the biggest deal of all because you know, all of the, um, because of all of the supply that they have of Luna and so much of the trading of Luna, you know, takes place on Binance, right? So we needed this above all else, but wow, massive, massive news to start the week. Luna Classic fell below the twos briefly, momentarily, and now they are back up to the three, one range. Insane. Uh, this story just continues to get more interesting as we, uh, as we roll along in the Luna Classic history here after the collapse back in May. So I'm going to have a bunch of more videos on this throughout the day. I just wanted to get this initial one out to you. I know a lot of people just waking up. I haven't even had my coffee yet, so I kind of stumbled in this one a little bit, but uh, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. I'll be back with more and uh, man, awesome way to start the week here, Lunatics. We'll talk to you very soon. Bye.